Good morning guys and welcome back to the video. Um, just before we get started, I just wanted to kind of throw this out there. All this stuff with the coronavirus is no joke, so please take it seriously. Stay inside, um, use hand sanitizer when you can, wash your hands, extra, extra careful. Save some TP for the rest of us though. Um, I don't really understand that, but yeah, I just wanted to hop on here. I know a lot of people are home right now. Um, if you're home, catch up on some throttle YouTube. We've got over 600 videos, so we appreciate you guys so much and uh, I hope everyone just is super clear of, of getting sick and all that stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the ice cream truck video today. It is a good one. I am so excited about this project. All right guys, enjoy. All right guys, I am back. A flu got me. I was gone for like a week. Anyways, I'm back and I'm gonna get back on this truck and I'm gonna go ham on it. First things first, I'm gonna take off everything from the inside where we started. Right, we're gonna take the fridge out, both fridges off. I didn't know you guys got another one. You guys made a lot of progress since I've been gone. All right, so you guys see this stream here, uh, how we, uh, how the boys cut the roof? It's not perfectly aligned and level, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this as level as possible so it can be in a straight, straight surface all the way across. And I'm gonna start pinching this down, I'm gonna start welding, tacking the top and bottom, that way the roof, you guys see how it's coming apart? That way it doesn't come apart at all. So that's gonna be the next step, but before I do that, we need to take all this stuff, remask that, because I'm gonna make a really big mess. Let's get to work. Just got done. Trimming this as best as I can do right now. Uh, next step is I'm gonna pinch this down and I'm just gonna tack well there and there. Just so we can kind of hold it down. We're gonna do the same thing here, here, and in every brace. And from here, once we finish tacking that, we have two options. Or we either weld a piece of metal all the way across so we can seal everything and reinforce it. Evan came also with the solution of, uh, once everything is finished welded, putting a sealed that goes over this, whether it's metal or rubberized, uh, that goes all the way across. And you also see, because in, in reality, this will pretty much reinforce uh, the roof. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but everything got welded already. So now this is not going anywhere. There you go. So it's not going anywhere. I also welded on those those spots right there, just to reinforce that side. I couldn't do this one because the gap is just way too big. I'm gonna make a few L brackets for here so we can weld the bracket to the roof and then probably put a rib nut on this side and we're gonna put down star hardware from the outside end. And it's just gonna be just a few of them, maybe six, 10 in total, because that's literally just gonna be there just to hold it while the ceiling seals the roof to the, uh, I guess the roof on top of the roof. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a few brackets right now.
So this is what I got so far. I don't even know what angle this is. So I'm gonna go try it out, see if this works. Oof. I gotta go a lot more. Yep, nowhere near. So it goes from this to this to this. That's 90, but we need like, 120. <laughs> so I'll do, I'll do the rest by hand. I'm going a little bit more than what I have here because metal tends to go back, see? Six identical brackets. So the reason why I cleaned this up is for when I start welding and have a fresh metal. I left the bottom one coated. That way it doesn't rust. Not that it will because there's gonna be no water coming out here. Here we go. I have six drilled and tapped. Took like three hours just because all of our bits are done. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place each one of these six where each bracket is gonna be placed. And I'm gonna try to place it in between these two wells because that's part the strongest point of the uh, roof. And I'm gonna mark the center hole before I put the rib nut in it. And then I'm gonna draw lines here and then do like alpha one for this one and then so on and so forth because they're not all the same size. But this one's a little bit shorter. Yep, this one's a bit shorter. You can see it sticks out a little bit more. So I'm gonna drill, mark it there. Line, line, mark it, that'll be alpha two. I'll do alpha two here and alpha two here that way I know which one is the one that goes there. And then I'll mark it here so I can cut that off. And so now what I'm gonna be doing is making each one of them individually made per section. So all the brackets are on right now. I flattened it all up so all this is flat with it. The rib nuts in it and I already drilled the hole on the other side. I don't know if you can see it. So from here on out, the next step is to push this thing up, lift it up, clean everything around the edges, uh, and then just put the epoxy or whatever we're gonna use to seal it. Once it's all sealed all the way around, we're gonna bolt this all down just so it will move and it dries completely. And then we just leave the hardware there just so I can hold it in place and it should be good enough to, it to hold the top uh, in place with the uh, epoxy. That's it. That's it for tonight. It's hot in here. I will pick up the camera uh, tomorrow. See you in the morning. The next day. Mickey this morning came in early. He installed the fan for the top of the fan cover. Check that out. 
It's nice and pretty. For right now, I am gonna start taking measurements of the floor and I'm gonna start laying down hardwood floor. Uh, I've never done it before, so wish me luck. And if I'm doing it wrong, oh well, it's still gonna be installed. That's right boys, we got a fender flare kit for the ice cream van. All right, so we ended up going with a fiberglass kit and what's cool about this is you don't have to cut the fenders, it just kind of tucks up right in there. Oh yeah, that's just a good job right there. See that? That's a Evan performance right there. Oh, look at that. We get an extra probably two and a half to three inches of uh, wheel width or offset on here. It's got the little mud flap too. Damn. Let's see the front. Uh-oh, look who's here. Oh, doctor! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. yeah, buddy. Fits pretty good, actually. This is the uh, front air dam, the front splitter. I'm gonna try to get this thing on the ground. So if you didn't know, the ice cream truck is gonna be on air suspension. I think it goes something like that. Damn, it's gonna be sick. You know we couldn't leave the van stock body. We thought that this fender flare kit kind of just gave it a little extra spice. So a couple days we'll get this installed. The whole van's going off to get prepped for paint. So our good friend Mike designed a livery for the van. We're gonna pop it up on the screen right now. I'm so hyped on it. It looks so good. So it's really tying in throttle and throttle ice cream. And yes, we are gonna be selling ice cream from this van. So um, also just wanna say a huge shout out to Advanced Auto Parts and Peak Auto for jumping on board with this project and making it possible for us. We've got a lot in store this year, so we're actually gonna be taking the ice cream truck on tour. So we're currently looking for places to book out for the rest of 2020 on where we should bring the ice cream truck, where the entire throttle crew is, is going to go. So uh, if you are interested in having the ice cream truck come to your local area, um, please let us know in the comment section where should we bring this truck when it's done. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's a little bit of a different project, but this ice cream truck is gonna be super badass when it's done. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. All right, so today from sccorals.com, we brought a blue hippo tank. Oh, Ooh, that's Dory. Nah, -uh. that's Dory. Dory. A big one. This we time. had one before. Remember Tiny little, little one? frail one, yeah. I don't show TJ. Oh, that is a nice size. Hell yeah. All right, then we got a pipe fish, an alligator pipe fish to go with its friend. And then I brought some really rare zoas. These, oh. these are called. They're a morph of a Krakatoa Zoa. Say that again. A, a, Krakatoa, a Krakatoa Zoa. What'd you call me? He's always that making up names. I yeah. know that's not the real name. That is the real name. No, it's not. And they go for about a hundred bucks a bottle. When it that's opens. That's a hundred dollars. Is it a barbecue? Krakatoa SpongeBob Krakatoa. meme. Krakatoa. You know the Squidward's like. <laughs> no, I don't know that one, but I'm gonna put it in. All right, you're gonna find it. Gonna find it. Krakatoa. <laughs> Super glue. Yeah. I've never seen this technique. Gel super glue. Cool. Is that better? Sick. Dan, where do they get these fish and corals from? You sell them online? Sell them online at sccorals.com. There you go. Or if you're in Encinitas, right? Yeah, and we're going to do a throttle 20% off code. Ooh, Ooh damn. Damn. Type that into the I'm about area. to take advantage of that right Give now. Give me a tank for the house.